What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel for another custom action figure review. If you're new to my channel, my goal is to have the perfect 112 version of each of my favorite characters. Today we're going to be taking a look at my second version of Boba Fett. I've already made a video talking about my first version. This one has several differences, but starting off with the base figure, that would be the Mafex Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. All of these pieces come from that figure, and I have simply... Well, not necessarily simply, but I have drilled and sanded and taken apart that entire figure to get all of these pieces. So the helmet, there's not really much um, difference there other than I kind of cut away some of the chin to try to get a little bit more motion. That didn't necessarily work out very well. I also cut the neck a little bit so that it could fit onto this base body. This base body is from Mandible Studios. It came from their suited pinstripe suit body, which I got for pieces for my custom Iron Man Mark I. Luckily, I didn't have to do a ton of modification. The peg was uh, approximately the same size as the Mafex one, so it simply pops onto that peg. It might sit a little bit lower than I'd like, but it stays on and it's very secure. The suit, which is an important thing to discuss, came from AOT Toys on Instagram. And he is a, an amazing soft goods custom suit maker. This wired cape that he made is really, really good quality. And you can get it in all sorts of different poses. And the suit does not really restrict the motion of this mandible body. Now going over articulation, starting off with the head, his head can swivel all the way around. You get a little bit of tilt, but it's kind of impeded by this collar armor and the way that it's connected at the base of the neck. This neck was not designed for this particular body, so it kind of, you can get some, but it kind of wants to come back up. This little thing can move up and down as well. Then his arms can move forward all the way up. His elbows can get past 90, and if you want the hands to pop off, you can make them go a little bit further. Well, they usually pop off, but because I said it, it's not gonna happen. The hands are also on those Mafex joints, so you can twist around the joint to get the wrist motion that you want. As far as ab crunch and torso articulation, he can crunch forward quite a bit and back quite a bit as well. And there's a little bit of diaphragm joint in there. Then at the hips, his legs can move up all the way to there on both sides and his knees are very well articulated. They can get a good deal past 90. Then his ankles can move all around like that. And you can twist the joint around to get some ankle pivot if you want. This is the original Mafex joint as well. And he has toe articulation except my particular copy of the Mafex came with a little bit of a defect. So this toe does not articulate up, but the joint is reversed. So he has a downward toe articulation, which is a little bit weird. If you wanted to try to take that apart and uh, mess with that, you, uh, you could, but it's not really worth it for me because I'm not really gonna use that joint on a Boba Fett figure. So just to give you a little sneak peek underneath the workings of this suit and to give you an idea of what the process is there was this flesh tone base body i put the cloth clothes on them and then i had to sand out all of the mafex pieces that weren't easily disconnectable kind of like these were easy to kind of pop off and then cut off some of the little indentations and then attach them to these elastic straps and the same goes for like the shoulder pads, the crotch guard, the belts. Those were all fairly simple. But the armor plates, um, his back armor, and well, actually this crotch thing, I had to do quite a bit of cutting to get that to work. 
but the gauntlets I just used a Dremel and little by little I sanded out a hole big enough for the arm to fit through so these just slide right onto the arm and then the hands fit on these pegs. These are actually the original Mafex pegs and I was able to swap out the pegs that came with this body for the Mafex pegs and that works out pretty well because that way I didn't have to modify the hands at all and the gray kind of uh, looks a little bit better than a flesh tone peg would look. Then taking a look at the back of the figure and see all the detail on this jetpack, all of the scuffs, wear and tear. All of this is just as it is on the Mafex. I haven't really adjusted any of the paint except for this little spot here. This was a little bit of an accident when I was sanding down these armor plates. My drill kind of flipped around to the other side and scuffed up the front. So I just painted that silver to blend in with all of the other battle damage. And if I hadn't told you that, would you have noticed? Maybe not. So I think it works out okay. Another cool detail is that these straps are not the original straps. I had to cut those off so that I could get this kind of braided belt on him. And these are actually elastic straps that blend in very well with how it looked before. He comes with a pair of fists, a pair of relaxed hands, and a single trigger finger hand. So he can't hold the gun in both hands, but that is the design of the original Mafex figure. And then in terms of scale, I added another little feature because some of my figures are bigger than others, and so he looked really tiny in comparison to some of my figures. So this is the original Mafex joint. And then this is uh, the hole that I drilled for this to fit into, and there's kind of little pegs on here, and you can make him taller just by not pushing in the joint all the way. So there's three little ratchets. So if you wanted him to be as tall as he can be, you could just put it in the first little ratchet and make him a little bit taller. So I'll grab some other figures to show you some scale. So here he is next to my custom SHF Han Solo and the Comic Cave Mark 46. As you can see, he's a little bit taller than Han Solo, but you can push in his ankles if you wanted to make him a little bit shorter in which case he would stand approximately the same height as Han Solo. His jetpack's kind of pushing him toward the camera, so it's uh, kind of making the scale seem a little bit off. But they're there about the same height. And that will wrap up this review of Boba Fett. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please check out my channel for more videos like this, where I delve into my custom figures. And stay tuned to my channel for new figures that will be coming out soon. And... Check me out on Instagram, like, comment, and subscribe.